Six months into the 21st century, scientists announced they had deciphered our genetic code. They now could read our DNA, the instruction set for how our bodies build and maintain themselves. Not only did scientists map all the genes in our DNA, but they soon learned how to turn individual genes on and off by tinkering with RNA, DNA's messenger molecule. They used a process known as siRNA, or small interfering RNA. This discovery led to the creation of synthetic siRNA that targets all known functional genes in the human genome, as well as providing potential treatments for a wide range of diseases. Led by Jeffrey Bartholomews, assistant professor in the Department of Experimental Therapeutics, the siRNA screening facility at UT's MD Anderson Cancer Center is helping researchers develop effective cancer therapies by identifying gene targets whose activity is critical for both the onset and progression of cancer. So what we do uh, pretty much is using this technology called siRNA, and in simple terms, siRNA can be defined as a molecular pair of scissors. It, it basically cuts the target gene, eliminating the protein. And we identify any change in functions uh, that we see following that procedure as being controlled by that protein. And so if, that, if we find that by eliminating the protein, we can alter the growth of a cancer cell or we can change its invasive potential, that suggests that if we know we have now identified a potential target that we can now develop drugs against. Using the siRNA facility, researchers can quickly screen a large collection of genes and through the process of gene silencing, identify novel targets to enable them to move their studies forward. My primary job is to work on drug studies uh, because we are in the experimental therapeutics department where we test uh, new drug therapies on cancer cells, where we're working on developing more specific therapies for different types of cancer. Our main goal is to not just have cancer be treated with chemotherapy or with uh, extensive drugs, but in order to be able to, uh, in a double team sort of effort, have the siRNA knock out a particular gene that's essential for the cancer cell line, and then, if need be, we can uh, also add drug in order to be able to completely target and wipe out uh, the cancer cell line that we're intended to be able to uh, get rid of. I do the orders. I do the billing. Um, I also do screens myself, um, train any new or even existing uh, core members. Um, pretty much, I maintain the lab, so as much as I can. Right now, I'm doing, um, I'm growing up 3D cell lines that they form basically spheroids. And so it mimics tumor cells. So, um, and then we drug them and see how the effect is. So it's um, really clinically relevant. I'm handling like two projects. Uh, total, I have been handling like uh, maybe four to five people. It's a great learning experience because you get to know uh, about the culture in other labs, how they work, and their expertise. So I think collaboration is just the best possible way to get the best possible outcome. The siRNA screening facility at UT's MD Anderson Cancer Center has three large siRNA libraries targeting all the known functional genes in the human genome. Our ultimate goal in this facility is to develop models that closely reflect the internal environment of tumors. As we are aware right now, tumors are not simple systems. They are a multicellular environment. And so we are currently developing three-dimensional models that uh, uh, we are hoping would closely reflect certain key uh, characteristics of tumors, which would then help us to develop models that we could consider to be relevant in our endeavor to find therapies against cancer. SIRNA research assistants use a robust and reproducible standard operating procedure to serve their clients. From incubation of the cell line, to cell line storage, to rapid dispensing, printing, storing, screening, and high throughput analysis. Over the last five years, the siRNA screening facility at UT's MD Anderson Cancer Center has successfully completed more than 100 high-throughput siRNA screens, 
utilizing immortalized cancer cells from a variety of cancers. Several of the completed screens have now resulted in publications and manuscripts in progress. Others have contributed to new research proposals and awards. Anyone can work. I can do an 85 job. But I look for passion. I look for passion because when you work with passion, you're not tied to the clock. The other thing I encourage my team is when they are given a project, consider it as being their personal project. And read about the cancer. Read about you know, some of the mechanisms, read about the therapy. Because once you understand the cancer, you basically have a better, a clearer idea as to what the investigator is thinking, where he he plans to go. And it helps one work, uh, you know, perform your duties with a lot more interest. And especially when you see the outcome that is somewhat novel, it excites you. Because now you can tell the investigator, we have found this for you.